Hi, it's Bridget at Above Life Channel. This is a follow-up video to the conversation I had with Whitney Houston. I wanted to do a follow-up because I recognized that there's so much more that I personally would like to talk to her about, and I really wanted to be able to connect with Bobby Christina as well, even though I will share the energy of Bobby Christina was really not in a comfortable place for me as a channel. Now, I want you to understand as you watch Above Life channel and you watch the conversations I have, when I share how I feel about the energy of a spirit that I'm contacting or connecting with, it does not mean that they hold um, human emotion or are stuck in any way or having any kind of trauma or difficulty. It doesn't mean that. I am simply sharing as a channel my interpretation, my personal feeling. Remember, um, some of the psychic gifts, clairsentience, which is the psychic gift of sensing, which is totally feeling, feeling energy and interpreting emotion. So you translate the feeling of energy as a vibration into human emotions. It's like translating energy sensing from a spirit energy, whatever frequency or vibration they are tuned to, you can translate that tuning of that particular vibration into a human emotion. That's what I'm talking about when I say, she feels like this, she feels like that. I'm not, I really want you to understand that because I don't want you to be worried about spirit in the afterlife. They are taken care of, whether they are fully immersed and embraced and live in the afterlife, on the other side as a full-on spirit or whether they are in a kind of a transition or a healing process, that is their choice. Spirit has choice. Even the spirits that you think are major bad guys or incredible jerks in the human life or tormented or tortured with their own physical pain in the human life or emotional pain in the human life, they don't necessarily translate that right over into the afterlife. You shed the body. And when you shed the body and you're full, fully a spirit being, it can take some time to get used to just being a spirit being, especially if your human body has been through the ringer. If it has been abused and um, physically uh, deteriorated through disease or through, you know, physical, or through choices you made in your human life or addiction, it can take a while to get used to like just being free. It's like not comfortable. Being a full on spirit is a, a new thing. It's out of the comfort zone. And it just takes time for the energy to, to transfer, translate. It does not mean that someone is stuck. Please don't think that. Please don't think that. The spirit always has choice to, to cross over. And crossing over isn't like a bridge into another place like a heaven paradise, it can be if that's how you choose to envision it, but it's unique to every individual. And so I just wanted you to understand that. And so in talking to Whitney and feeling her daughter, her daughter really had a lot of, um, she felt very protected, she felt very young, like a toddler. She didn't feel ready to really talk or have conversation with me. Now that could change at any time. And so I'm willing definitely to do that. And also the circumstances around Bobby Christina's death feel a lot more icky. There's my technical spiritual term, icky. To me as a human person, um, because right away as a psychic now, so I can see I'm clairvoyant. So psychics have different kinds of um, um, tools or gifts. And I believe everybody is clairsentient. Everybody can sense energy, sense spirit. That's how all of us communicate and have relationships with one another because we're all spirit. That's what I really believe. So everybody's psychic, everybody's intuitive that way. However, the way that I translate the energy frequency into the emotion and use words to describe that, that's different. That's just being a psychic. That's clairsentience. That's being a psychic, that's a psychic tool. But I'm also clairvoyant, so I see. So as a psychic and, and I can, I, I try really hard not to forecast or predict the future because I really firmly believe as humans, we create our future, we co-create it. It's a collaboration with ourselves and our spirit and the energies around us and the people that are in our lives. And you know, they're here for a reason, a season or a lifetime, if you've heard that phrase or know that poem. Um, I really believe that. And so I try not to predict anyone's future because you can change it. And it's just a snapshot in time. You can change it. You can change it. 
And I don't believe that fate is predetermined. I believe that we co-create our destiny and we manifest. We are creators. That's the cool part about who we are as a spiritual being living in a human body. I so believe that, you guys. I so believe that. So I try not to forecast. However, <laughs> that said, because I'm so clairvoyant, I just see stuff. Oh, I see. I really see. And sometimes when you see something, you can misinterpret it, which is probably why it's easy for me not to... It's easy for me to misunderstand something like a date or a time or an age or whatever. Well, they look like this, but I don't know if that's really what they are. So when it comes to Bobby Christina and Whitney Houston, I really feel there was a lot of icky stuff around Bobby Christina's death. Now I know that intellectually as well, but I also felt it. I was like, oh boy. Woo! And it feels like there's some lawsuit legal stuff. So it definitely feels like around Bobby Christina's death that there's a lot of stuff going on. And it still feels like there's unresolved things and icky legal stuff too. And I like there's some clear things that I know as a psychic, but I'm not sure what I should share and what I shouldn't share around that because I want her spirit to be free to evolve and heal. Um, but let me just tell you, as a person, oh my goodness. That boy is not to be trusted. And I feel like her body was moved. So I'm just going to tell you those two things. I don't trust that boy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I think he's going to end up going off the rails anyway and making bad choices and either ending up in jail or killing himself, you know, with drugs or whatever. But very manipulative, very, um, mm, I don't trust that boy. And she, her body was moved. I know that for sure. 100% her body was moved. So I don't want to, you know, I don't like drama and I don't want to dig into mysteries around people's deaths or conspiracy theories. You know, I hate that. I hate that crap. It's not, why focus on how somebody died? Let's focus on our own lives and what we can do about it. But also as a psychic and I can see that, I just had to be like, oh, I just needed to say something. I wanted to talk about that so much. But then I'm like, yeah, but that's, I don't want to be gossipy either. So, so I wanted to do a follow-up. I also wanted to say that, do you know why it was such a big deal that I needed to channel Whitney Houston? Like she came up like three times. I'm like, what is the deal? I did the original channel on Friday, July 27th, 2018. July 27th. Now I understand why it was such a big deal that I talked to her and it is because actually July 26th was the anniversary of Bobby Christina's death. It would have been three years. And in the initial conversation when I was talking with Whitney Houston, I said that Bobby Christina felt like she was three or four years old. This makes sense. She's a new spirit. This makes a lot of sense. Isn't this interesting? Now, so you might be at wondering, well, Bridget, how do you know that it was the anniversary of her death if you don't follow stuff, if you don't look stuff up? Well, after Whitney Houston's um, conversation, the conversation I had with her, I was curious about when she and then when her daughter had died because it felt like it was like Whitney died and then like two years later her daughter died. And I wasn't sure about the date, so I was curious about that. So I Googled it. I looked it up. And then when Bobby Christina's came up, it said July 26th, 2015. So that's how, that's how I know. Crazy, isn't it? I mean, it just, it, it's always like that. It's so ironic too. I think it's really ironic because I am, I always say I've self-proclaimed really bad with dates and names. I'm so not good translating dates and, and ages too, you know, I'm like, I'm not always, I, I'm working on it, you guys. <laughs> I've just never, I've never been good at that. I've been doing psychic work for like 14 years and I've just never been really good with that. And so it's kind of ironic how it seems like spirits have been really present or easy to access either on their birthdays or their death dates or when there's a specific life event or something like if it's a, um, sorry, I'm not waving at you. I was trying to, there's a bug, some mosquitoes here, mosquitoes. Um, or around a significant date for them, something they're really proud of, like the release of an album or the release of a movie or an, an award that they got or like the birth of their child or something like that, like a significant event, like stuff that would be important to us as people. It seems like it's super easy. That's when they like come in to access. That's when I feel like I can connect with them or they come into my mind and then I go, oh, and it might just be because that's a day that collectively their fans, 
their family, their loved ones are feeling them. And because of that, then I can feel them. And so that's that's just fascinating to me how that works because I worked with um, Catherine Hepburn in the interview that I did with her. It was like right around her birthday when I did Marilyn Monroe when I originally channeled her. Um, it was her birthday was coming up in a couple of weeks and so crazy isn't it it's crazy so this is bridget at above life channel thank you so much for being here i hope you've enjoyed the the videos remember never miss a weekly video be sure to click that red subscribe button and subscribe so you get notification if you actually click the bell you'll get notification when there is a new weekly channeling video out Thanks so much for being here. Remember the purpose of Above Life Channel is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. This is your life, so live it.